The usual approach in the most recent standards is to compute the limit plastic forces and compare them with the existing ones. Yet, the existing forces will not necessarily fully plasticize a component. It is always good to run the linear analysis first, because it is much simpler and faster than a non-linear one. This helps us determine whether the entity has reached its plasticization limit. Given that bearing stress is already taken into account in our checks, minor plasticizations around the nodes that simulate the bolts are normally acceptable. Even if there are stress peaks around these nodes, we shall not discard the entity. Conversely, if plasticization affects large areas of the component, then we can conclude that a linear analysis will not be enough. It is not always useful, however, to start with a non-linear analysis. This is because when plasticization spreads in an elastically calculated entity, it is likely that a non-linear analysis would also have the same outcome, discarding the entity and redesigning it. The non-linear analysis can be useful when the plasticization predicted by an elastic computation is moderate, when it is not confined merely to the areas around the bolts or welds, but nor does it spread across the entity's entire surface. Therefore, it will be useful here. The non-linear analysis is longer than the linear one because the computation is iterative. There are two basic approaches depending on the constitutive law used for the metal. Under the elastic perfectly plastic constitutive law, the analysis aims to achieve a convergence using the full applied load. If this occurs, then the load limit has not been exceeded and the component is acceptable. On the other hand, if the applied load is not reached, because the solution diverges, or if it is reached but only with unacceptable displacements, then the component must be redesigned. If we use a hardening constitutive law, then convergence will be achieved anyway, and there will be two conditions to examine. One is to check that the ultimate stress is not reached at any point. The other is to establish that the displacements under the applied loads are not excessive. For a component whose FEM model has been created, we analyze its state of stress by considering its von Mises stresses. This is done by the Sargon Reader Utility Program which is supplied with CSC. The available functionality includes the ability to view the von Mises stress envelope map for all combinations. This immediately tells us the peak stresses that have been reached and in which areas and combinations they occur. 